Okay. In front of me is a Techno Pop 7, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, that being said, I don't know if it's going to show up here with the locked screen or not. You can see that it is locked with this tiny little icon right here. I am connected right now through Hotspot, and I think that kind of messes up the uh, page where it tells us to verify our screen lock and Google account. But no matter, if, even if it skips it, you'll see in a second that it won't let me finish up the setup anyway. Now, to get started with the bypass, we will need two things. Number one, I will be another Android device. So I'll be using some kind of Nokia. All it needs to have is access to the uh, Google Play Store. And that's about all the device needs. That's why I also I'm saying that it needs to be an Android. Now that being said, another thing that I let me quickly check I think we need is a SIM card. Once it actually loads up the page. Yep, so we will need also a SIM card. I have one prepared for this. It's gonna be laying right here. And that's about it. Now, to get started, I'm gonna back out. Uh, now, you obviously seen there was a verification pattern, so it did show me that the device is locked. Now, I'm gonna back out, back to the Wi-Fi connection page, right over here. And obviously you need to connect to Wi-Fi. Once you have done so, if it goes to the next page, just press back to get back to this page right here. Then click on this little box right here next to your connected uh, network to share it, then select nearby, turn on, and then select the need help sharing. This will open up an article. Once it's open, you want to click right here on these three dots and select share article and select X share mini. Allow anything that it pops up with. And it will generate a QR code. Once that is visible, uh, we're basically done with this device for now. So I'm going to lock it, move it to the side, and bring the Nokia into view. Now here, we're going to start off by navigating into our web browser and then navigating to the hard reset.info slash downloads uh, website. So. So there we go. I'm going to select consent and then in the downloads search bar, I'm going to click on it and we're searching for Android 11. There should be only one result. There it is. So we're going to select download and scroll down again and select download once more. Download anyway. Then we're going to go back. And then in a search bar here, we're going to now search for FRP bypass Let me quickly make sure uh, bypass login. Oh, FRP not from. And as you can see, it shows up with another one, uh, only one result. So again, we're going to select download and then download, download anyway. And it's downloaded. So now we can close this and we're going to now open up our Play Store. And here we're going to search for Xshare. comes up right at the front. I'm going to select install. I'm 
open it up and again we're gonna need to agree to everything that it shows up with so i'll know while using up um i think that's the only thing for now but once you click right here on this uh, box with like a slash across it a qr scanner it will give us a list of different things that we need to agree to so let's let open and then enable it go back open next one allow open next one allow while using up open next one and a last one and it's now opening up the qr scanner so going back to our locked device we're gonna scan this code using our camera on the unlocked device so just hover it over the qr code and it will then begin connecting these two devices together give it a moment and as you can see they are now connected so here we're going to select send gonna select send more and apks and select the two apks that we have downloaded from the hard reset info website and you're going to select send you can select receive and as you can see it's already installing one uh, transferring the other one one is already installed this one is installing as well let's give it a second and that's it it's now done so we can move this device aside and we can now focus on the locked device so from here you want to open up the first one which is frp bypass browser so just click on open and select the three dots and select browser sign in and okay and in here you can log in with any kind of google account now because this is kind of a wonky way that we are uh, logging into google account it's completely understandable if you feel sketched out by this uh, so what you can do is create a completely disposable google account for this if you want to and sign in using that uh, the account doesn't need to be like old or anything you can create a new account specifically for this and it will work you just need to log in with any kind of google account and the reason for that is once we do so it replaces uh, the old account that we would need to verify so i'm gonna log in using mine and i'm gonna put in the password obviously of the screen Once it logs in, it automatically closes this off. There we go. So once it's closed, we can now go back. Uh, are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I am. And just press the back button until you get back to a little bit further. So right here, what are we going to do now is take our SIM card. Gonna insert our SIM card. Oh, that's too small, or too big, I mean. There we go. Uh, I believe it. I got it already. Looks for reception, and I think it just found it. So great. So now we can select skip, I guess. Yep, there we go. And once we're back in the Wi-Fi connection page, as you can see, it gives us now an option to use mobile network for setup. So that's what we're gonna select. I'm gonna click on next. Now, the reason we are doing this is because once you kind of go about through this kind of method, when you connect to Wi-Fi, it won't progress automatically to the next page again for some odd reason so that's why we need to insert a sim card just so we can get to the next page that's the only reason now uh, on here you can select don't copy and the next thing you will see is there we go the account added and it's the account that i have logged in uh, moments ago it's not telling me to verify the old account it just literally Repl got replaced with the one that I have logged in with. So right now we can finish up the setup. Now one crucial information is the device is still technically locked as you can see right here. 
which we will get rid of it in a second, this lock. So right now you just want to finish up the setup. When going through it, just set it up in whatever way is fastest for you, because truth be told, at the moment it doesn't really matter what we select when we will be removing everything anyway in a moment. Okay, so now that we have access to our home screen, the last thing that we want to do to fully unlock this device is navigate to our settings. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to system, select the reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then once you press on the erase all data once again, this will begin a factory reset of the device. Now it might seem kind of redundant to do this, but as a last step doing this through settings, the factory reset forces the device to remove any kind of protection that was on this device, either prior or new one. So that would include the previously previous verification method that we had to put into the device in order to unlock it, which we did bypass this, but we didn't remove it just yet. Once you go through the reset, the factory reset through settings, this basically gets all removed. And afterwards, you can set up your device in whatever way you want. So it will be fully unlocked at that point, so you can do whatever you want with it. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to be going through this reset on, on video, just because it it's kind of a waste of time, to be completely honest. It's fully automatic process and once it's finished, you're in a setup screen where you can set up your device however you want. So with this being said now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.